Hello, it's Claudio, and in this Python beginner tutorial, I will show you how to print Hello World in Python. I will actually show you nine ways to do that. Let's start with the simplest one. We will pass the string Hello World to the print function. Hello World is a string because it's enclosed in double quotes. In Python, a string is either enclosed in single quotes or double quotes. Notice as well that we are writing our code in a file called hello underscore world.py. The extension .py represents a file that contains Python code. To execute our code, we use the command python3 space hello underscore world.py. When you execute your code, you see in the terminal the message hello world. Let's move to the second example. This time, instead of passing the string hello world directly to the print function, we will assign the string hello world to a variable called message, and then we will pass the variable message to the print function. This is a better approach considering that in your Python program, you usually set the value of a variable that then you use later on in your code. With the third approach, we will use the plus operator that in Python allows to concatenate two or more strings. We will assign the string hello to the variable word1 and the string word to the variable word2. Then we will use the plus operator to concatenate the two variables. As you can see, there is no space between hello and word. And that's because we haven't added a space between word1 and word2. Let's move to the fourth way of printing hello world. In this example, we're going to use the string format method that allows to print a string and replace values of a variable inside the string itself by using open and close curly brackets. In this line of code, the first set of curly brackets is replaced by the value of the variable word1, and the second set of curly brackets is replaced by the value of the variable word2. In the fifth way to print hello world, we will be using something that has been introduced since Python 3.6, fstrings. We will notice the difference between using the string format method and fstrings. As you can see, we have to specify an f before the double quotes, and also we can specify the name of the variables inside the curly brackets. This makes the string more readable, especially if you want to replace a high number of variables in the string. Let's continue. This time we will use a different data type to print hello world. So far we have used strings. 
In this example, we will use a list. A list is a way to store multiple values in a single variable. Lists are also enclosed within square brackets. We're going to create a list called words, where the first element is the string hello and the second element is the string word. After creating the list words, we will use the string join method to concatenate all the elements in the list. In this case, the join method is applied to a single space. This means the elements in the list will be concatenated using the space as separator. That's why when we print our message variable, the result is hello world. In the seventh way to print hello world, we will still use a list, but this time it's not a list of words, it's a list of characters. We will create a list where every element is a character of the phrase hello world. including the space between the two words. Similarly to the previous example, we will use the string join method to concatenate the characters in the list. The only difference is that instead of using the space as separator, we will use an empty character. And here is what happens if we use the at sign as separator instead. Let's now print hello world using a different data type, the dictionary. Every element of a Python dictionary is a key value pair. And the dictionary is enclosed within curly brackets. Let's create a dictionary where the strings hello and word are the values of the dictionary. We will then use the dot values method of a dictionary to return a list that contains the values in the dictionary. And then we will use the string join method in the same way we have done before to concatenate the elements in the list. In the last way to print hello world, we will still use a dictionary, but with a small difference compared to the previous example. Let's create a dictionary where the strings hello and word are the keys of the dictionary. We will then use the dot keys method of a dictionary to return a list that contains the keys. And then we will use the string join method in the same way we have done before to concatenate the elements in the list. And now you have them nine ways to print hello world in python but before completing this tutorial i want to show you one last thing in your python program you might want to print a specific string multiple times let's see how to do that in this case we will print hello world 10 times let's start with a simple print statement that is the first way we've printed hello world in this tutorial. To modify this line of code in order to print hello world 10 times, we just have to add after the string hello world an asterisk followed by the number 10. 
Well done for completing this tutorial. And congratulations if this is one of your first Python tutorials. We have covered quite a lot in this tutorial, several data types like strings, lists, and dictionaries. String methods like format and join, the print function, fstrings, and a lot more. Have you found this video useful? Give it a like so more people can watch it and learn from it. And hit the subscribe button if you want to accelerate your Python learning. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.